standing there and the Nazis didn't destroy it for the same reason as in Auschwitz. You remember? In Auschwitz and in Birkenau, uh, how many of those uh, uh, parts of the concentration camps are still standing there, almost everything. Not everything, they destroyed all the gas chambers and, uh, you know, crematoriums. But uh, the rest is standing because they didn't expect Russians to come so fast and they didn't have time to destroy it, otherwise they will do it. So they just escaped, the Germans. So same happened here because uh, Russians came like same day or next day from Auschwitz up to uh, Krakow. And then when they came, you know, they surrounded the whole city, but left a little passage, kind of like an uh, opening, one mile or so, so to speak, that the Germans will have a chance to escape. I mean, not really, they're not that stupid to let them escape, but, you know, uh, that way, you know, the Germans were going through this narrow, narrow passage into the forest.